Hello, everybody. We are live, I believe. Should should be. Um, and we're ready for Shadowrun, uh, New Atlantis, which we're not in New Atlantis right now, so. Eh. Um. <laughs> uh. So last we left off, the party had gotten. They've secured. Um means of leaving the city and are going to go to New York for just a little bit. Um, and if the three of you don't mind, I think we might just skip to being on that boat. Uh, okay. And so we're going to have... Yeah, we're going to have the three of you on the boat. Uh, Slice, was he coming with you or not? Yes. He yeah, coming. he's coming. Okay, cool. And uh, and the uh, boat that you are bringing with you, the the little submersible boat, is attached to the bottom of the ship that's taking you to New York. The ship that's taking to you, Nor New yeah, you to New York is sort of a sort of a yacht. Like it's it's a smaller yacht. It's not super fancy. It might have been fancy at one point, but it's kind of been repurposed and, and retooled to be quick and uh, sturdy as opposed to fancy and comfortable. And that will be getting you to New York. Um, All right. Is there any other wrap-up stuff, though, that you would want to do before? And as you say whatever kind of wrap-up stuff you would want to do before you leave the city, why don't you introduce your character? Let's start with Nerdy. Oh, uh, hi. Yeah, uh, I'm Nudie. I am playing Star <laughs> Jeez, I forgot which character this is. Um, yeah, and I'm playing Star Squad. The, um... Are you still Celine? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Might be. clears throat> um, Star, the, uh, elf cat burglar slash, yes, Bomb Squad. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, I haven't jumped out any windows in this one yet, so... <laughs> Not yet. It's a balancing game. Yeah, uh, however, <laughs> after seeing that, I'm realizing it's not just my games. <laughs> no. no, I rolled bad in all games and then have to... <laughs> bad bad my games, it's <laughs> specifically explosives, but it's not just my games where you end up an inch from death. <laughs> In situations that I should have done, yeah, better. I should have lied my way through. Oh yeah, no problem. I have so many dice yeah. for that, and then I rolled no successes, <laughs> and then I had to use willpower to get the measly successes I did. It was not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Summerstorm. What about you? Uh, I am playing Valkyrie, the elf sniper, who is the reason that they're all on this ship. And, uh, yeah, that this is happening. So, yeah, that's me. Alrighty, um, hang on. I think I'm peeking a little bit. Let me fix that. Hello, hello. Yeah, we're better now. Okay, um... And Gemma, you're muted. <laughs> there we go. Uh, sorry about that. Right. Um, I'm Gemma, and I am playing Jeunesse, uh, who is a weird sort of hybrid uh, Deco rigger um, face sort of character. Um, who is on a boat. Sweet. Pretty much. And um, what are all of you, any other like last loose ends you want to tie up before you leave New Atlantis? Uh, I'm pretty sure Star yeah. might want to like say goodbye to someone, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, Real quick. Yeah, I, I make sure to say goodbye and let um let um did you Koala? what's her name now Koala there you go um Koala know 
where I'm going. All right. <clears throat> and Valkyrie, anything for you? Oh, there's a lot of things I'd like to do. Um, Pick one thing. That... <laughs> uh, you said that uh, Blinky would give me information on the second team. Uh, Blinky told you about them. And Blinky will update you if she can find any more info. Yes. Okay, then my other question is the the one with the tattoo that I noticed, how old is, is are they? They are... Um, they look like if they're 20, they're barely. Okay, so yeah, they're new. Probably. Good. All right. Um, anything else for Jeunesse to do in the city before she leaves? Uh, other than picking up the drone, uh, from a little friend, uh, no. All right. Um, uh, she might grab a final coffee before she jumps yeah. on the boat because coffee. Um, so the Irish mafia would put you on this boat. Um, however, they are not manning this boat. It is... Uh, run by one person and you're expected to help that person it, in what little ways it needs. There's not much once you're actually out on the water. Um, uh, this person is... Actually, this person is Grinder, the person who uh, <laughs> who <laughs> most of the time sells surplus military wear um, to you uh, is, is actually going to be piloting this vessel um awesome but yeah for the most part he doesn't ask you to really do anything and doesn't get in your way so is there any anything that the party would want to do before you get to new york or we can just fast forward till then um, i do have a clarifying mm -hmm. question okay um if, if if it's been piloted by grinder does that mean uh that uh, navigation is swipe left or right <sighs> That is, <laughs> that is funny, but no. <laughs> um, uh, no, this, uh, this guy is, he, I tried to make him interesting, but he's really just not an interesting character. <laughs> he's, he's just a guy. a guy who obviously used to <laughs> do military stuff, and that's about it. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, and, uh, yeah, do we just want to fast forward to New York then? I guess, uh, we could do more info gathering when we mm -hmm. get there, I guess. I mean, as long as we're not beset by pirates or large whales <laughs> or sea wolves, flying dolphins, <laughs> etc. Um, yeah. um, question. Mm -hmm. The the place that we're going to be pulling in, would that be anywhere close to the ship that we want to? No, no, uh, and no. like very purposely, okay. no. Uh, that is an official dock where important corporate ships load up. So we're going to go to a dock that doesn't officially exist and offload uh, the secret cargo, which is U3. Okay. I was thinking that um, the first order of business would be attaching the, mm -hmm. the submersible. So it has, I think I said, like four hours it can spend underwater, I believe. So... You can go underwater with this thing a good distance away and pilot it up to it. Um, yeah. Do you want to... You don't have... Oh, yeah, you did purchase one more wetsuit, didn't you? One more set of diving gear. So who wants to yeah, do for this? for whoever's going to be piloting. <laughs> because um, Slice would be the best at piloting it, but he can't. Because he can't wear a wetsuit. Um... 
having a robot arm the way he does. Some robot arms are, are sleek enough to, to do that. His is not even close to it. would literally just get caught in the gears and puncture it. Um, and, and also, it doesn't function very well underwater. Um, it's, it's waterproofed against splashes and such and small submersions, not, right. not you know, 30 feet underneath salt water. <laughs> so yeah. yeah okay so i guess we're going to figure out who has the who highest who wants to pilot this boat uh, thingy yeah. yep. well uh um, because swimming's involved i'm going to tell you it's not <laughs> star <laughs> <laughs> all right uh yeah janice has got a pilot watercraft of one and a swimming of two <laughs> great that sounds like a candidate i can't i mean i can do this i just don't want to <laughs> <laughs> i really don't <laughs> i have five in my watercraft oh um <laughs> and what's your swimming so that's a chance a uh, swimming is yeah. straight right I'm not good at my swimming. But, eh. I mean, we're out of options at this point. Because it can't be remote. Correct. And we can't ask one of the masks to do it because they're off doing mm -hmm. something else. Do we want to trick someone to do it for us? <laughs> Well, why don't you all get... Or do we want to take that risk? Why don't you all get uh, settled so you know where you're operating out of? Um, okay. There is... You're instructed by Grinder to head over to uh, a fast food restaurant. It, this is a, a stuffer shack. Uh, or kind of a knockoff okay. stuffer shack. Um, and uh, when you walk in, you're you're greeted by the a uh, fellow behind the counter. Hi there, what can I get for you? And so, to describe to those who aren't aware, a stuffer jack is like a middle point between a McDonald's and a like gas station convenience store. Um, and they're yeah, they're everywhere. Um, only the most middling quality soy burgers are served here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just um, get coffee. Where are you coming from? Across the pond. <laughs> On vacation? You could say that. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Well... Across the pond, that's... The other way to put it is... We're visiting. Yeah. From places. What place? Ah. Uh... And he kind of, like, nods at you in a way that is... Um... I think Jeunesse, of all people, would kind of pick up on this more. Is a, a, a kind of a competent, like, kind of skillful nod... Uh, that you know that that w could be used as a sign, a, you know, a, a secret uh, sort of handshake sort of thing. And this level of skill does not match up with a minimum wage worker, <laughs> you know. Um, this guy looks like maybe there's more going on up in his head than the "Hello, my name is Dave" tag that's on his shirt would say. <laughs> Um, so which city is, uh, sorry, which ocean is our home base in? Uh, the yeah, Atlantic. New Atlantis sits Atlantic. where they estimated Atlantis would sit in the middle of the ocean. Okay. Um, uh, Janice 
is probably interested in making some sort of etiquette role uh, to see if she can um, convince the guy that it's worth his while not to know. All right. Um, or would that be negotiation? Uh, no, in this case, I think... Can you roll me Judge Intentions, Jeunesse? Uh, that would be under your other info. on So, you know, where you have your health tracker. The health tracker has option between being health tracker and other info, and there's just got a bunch of uh, assorted stats there for you. Just roll the amount that's three. Three hits? Yeah. Okay, uh, this guy's looking for you. Like, he's, he's asking questions because he wants... He, this guy's looking for the people that came from New Atlantis. And that's why he's asking where you're coming yeah. from. Sure. Um, I say, uh, look, we're from out of town, but uh, you have the look of someone who might be looking for people who are from out of town. Yeah. So we might be those people. All right. Uh, how to put this? Uh, did you come from? Uh, uh, yeah, come from the island, I guess. We've come from an, an island. island yes. yes, wonderful. All right. Um. Well, why don't you head around to the restroom? Uh, I'm sure that uh, you're all tired from your trip. We we ha we hardly know each other. That's very funny. And he just like you. points over to the women's restroom over there. And I just smirk and wink and head over. Gosh, this is a mess already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so because this is kind of a crappy kind of um uh convenience store sort of thing uh what you see is there's a door into the bathroom through the way you came but then there's a door out of it out to outside of the building um, mm -hmm. yeah straight on and so through. when you go straight on through you come out in the back of the building and the back of the building has this area that's fenced off oh out from the from the rest of the alley um mm. and the only other thing in this little fenced off space that you're in is the door back into the bathroom and then a little uh like storm door like storm cellar sort of door uh so it, it's like one of those trap doors but it's angled at like a 45 degree angle down into a basement Mm -hmm. And the there is a padlock on it, but the padlock is undone. Okay. Like, neatly laying there beside it. Actually, no, not only that, the key, there's a set of keys sitting next to it. Hmm. Okay. okay. Um, have the other two folks followed me out there? Yeah. Because, you know, we could just split the party possible, again. But, yes... <laughs> So I believe, yeah, I believe they're following you, uh, and you can proceed. Mm -hmm. um, down in there, you find uh, a very, very interesting s place. So this is a basically an apartment for criminals. Um, while you're here, you okay. are pretty much safe. You are anonymous, um, and there's services offered that only criminals would buy um there's literally a vending machine for guns um <laughs> there is a like uh bulletin thing listing out all sorts of of high security transport rentals um there is just a basically a yellow books for hitmen um like it's it's this big information place and then also you all each have a bed and just living quarters here which are being paid for uh by the irish because you know they're they're handling you being here 
Ebay and Beef uh, yep. Shattered yep. Ice. Cool. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, this place advertises that uh, any like minor misdemeanor, if you can flee back here, they can probably they can usually get the police to just leave you alone if you can get back here. Like they they they've got uh, connections that can get them to shy away. Cool. Okay. And uh, how far away from New York City is there any? Um, uh, what what would be the price for trans transit to the part of New York where we need to find this guy? Um, maybe probably a hundred new yen. But uh, it depends. You can literally just call up a regular taxi, and it will cost you like ten new yen to get there. Uh, oh, okay. but then there's also on the wall there, you know, the security transports listing prices as high as 2000 um which is literally like a full armored convoy <laughs> yeah i'm guessing those would be slightly more conspicuous they, they would though. be well uh there there's conspicuous ones and then there's the not conspicuous ones which are also secure that are even more expensive um but also mm -hmm. most of those convoy ones most of the high high security ones require like a three-day notice for them to set it up per set up a route alternate routes and all the whole deal sure um my personal preference would be to uh go low-key and just take a cabin okay yeah they can uh for yeah just 10 new yen you can just call any uber basically <laughs> Um, what about, uh, gun licenses? Like, if we were to be carrying firearms around New York City and get stopped by, bailed up by cops, um, what sort of licenses would we require to carry the weapons that we're carrying? Uh, well, it depends and... what you have on you. Um, you have a handgun, right? Alright, yep. well, uh, there is listings there for a gun license forgery service. Um... A handgun like what you have would cost very little and be very easy to make. Um, a license for a large sniper rifle might be a bit more difficult to swing. Okay. Uh, but I believe your sniper um, rifle I breaks down, do... right? Yes, it does. It breaks down and... I thought I had a license for it. Oh, do you? Yeah. It wasn't very good, but I do. All right. Well, if you can find that, that's good. So that's a UAC license? Hmm? That's a UAC license? I don't know how oh, you, to... You, sorry, you cares, I mean... I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, the license would pr would basically be for UCAS if if you have one, because uh, that one's kind of uh, kind of universal for the most part. Some places might not accept it, but for the most part, that's kind of universal. Um, however, with guns that large, sometimes if the people who are in charge of keeping that area safe, in this case, uh, Lone Star, um, sometimes they might take issue with you having a weapon that powerful even if you have a license just because it's their job to keep this place safe and you know if someone walks around with like a rocket launcher it doesn't matter what paperwork you have they're probably gonna at least detain you for questioning <laughs> yeah so uh yeah so yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, it, it shouldn't take you too long to get there. Um, the docks that the ship that's going to take you away is at and the, where you have your little submersible thing is within distance. You could pilot it over to the dock where you want to go. Um, you wouldn't be underwater the entire time, but you don't have to be underwater the entire time. You can go you know, halfway there and then submerge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Um, problem is swimming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Um, is there any way we could hope Slice to do it? Like, could we find a way to allow him to be able to do that? Even if it means, like, tying a garbage bag to his arm. No, uh, what you would probably have to do <laughs> is buy him a new arm. Oh, gosh. Okay. Should have had Dolly take care of that before we left. I'm okay with retconning that. If you're actually, if you actually okay. have the money to, to, uh, pay for it. I'm pretty sure I don't. Well, let me... Pull up. Oops. The builder. And see how much that would cost. So he needs a... Full arm. Which starts at a cost of 15 grand. Mm hmm. Yeah, no. <laughs> um. If you. And to get what he would actually want, it would need to be more. Expensive than that. Mm -hmm. Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. uh, Dolly is willing to offer you... Yeah, offer this to you at 25 grand. And you can take it on credit. And Slice will owe you. <laughs> Does he want that? Uh, yeah. He, he would love a better limb. Fine. <laughs> I mean, if something... we actually pull this off, I can get that money no problem. What's that, Janice? Is that something that I could potentially assist with uh, bringing down the price of? Uh, not likely. Dolly's probably giving Valkyrie a pretty good deal, as is. Um, okay. Not to mention she's letting Valkyrie take it on credit, which is not a good idea. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Especially since we're all going to die. But yeah, sure, whatever. I'll do okay. that. Okay, <laughs> note that down that you now owe Dolly 25 grand. Um, okay. yeah. So. Just note that I do have a negotiation. You, you do have great negotiation. Um, actually, actually, in that case, Janess, you can't negotiate with Dolly because Dolly is giving as good a deal as she can. But what you could do, uh, Ninja Sudo just, uh, joined the party. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, Janess, what you could do is you could help Dolly negotiate with her suppliers. Uh, okay. If you want to yeah. just roll negotiation for me, um, you could help. Uh, four, four hits. Wonderful. Okay. So that's going to instead be 21 grand that you owe, Valkyrie. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So, yeah, now you're in New York. Any th so Slice can do this if you want. He'll still have to roll dice, and if mm -hmm. he messes up, things go bad. But but he has probably the better, better best chance out of all of you. Yeah. Um, he could. Swim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he can. So, y'all want to just have him do that now? Um. Yeah, because going near the docks would be a bad idea. Okay. 
Can I roll my common sense? No. You, that's not a rollable I mean, skill. I have it. No. But just letting you know that I yeah. have common sense. So if I'm missing something no. obvious, you have to tell no, me. No, I don't. But, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, he got three hits, and he is going to spend an edge to reroll and get no more hits. But So, he's got three hits, and he pilots this thing underneath. Uh, he's entirely radio silent the entire time, but the three of you can be at a distance looking through Valkyrie's scope. Like, observing the scene. Okay. And uh, there's no sign of trouble so far. And going to... So no one's lobbying. Yeah, the yeah. And... They're not doing that yet, anyway. <laughs> okay. And he's going to use Edge again. Okay. Gets two hits on his swimming. And gets a decent distance away before popping up in the water. Uh, a disappointing distance away from the ship. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he has been spotted by, not by the security of the, of the dock or the people that own the ship, but just by some coast guards. And they're picking him okay. up. All right. Kind of watch this. <laughs> um, it goes down non-violently, just calmly. Uh, they pick him up, and they're going to go take him to a police station. Okay. Do you want to well, follow? At a distance, but... Um... Clearly, the two people who can face need to start doing their job. <laughs> because that's not me. <laughs> I will just watch. Oh, also, I would have brought my drone. Yes, yes I would assume so. Um, all right. Okay. So, yeah. So, the three of you know where Slice is at. He's in a police station uh, that is near the docks. Or not the docks, sorry. Just near the water. Um, it has its own, like, small private dock for the Coast Guard to... Uh, drop by and like leave people there um, because this is not the actual US anymore. They don't function the same way. Um, and yeah, he's inside. None of you know what's going on other than that. Other than he's not answering his phone anymore. That's fine. That's good, actually. Okay. What do y'all do? <clears throat> what do you think, folks? Um, I could probably try a few different angles to try and get him back out, but is that something we need to do in a hurry right now? Well, I don't want to leave him behind. I would like to no. bring him back to New Atlantis with us. And he might also be fairly important for the little bit of um, wet work that we need to get done, yeah? Mm -hmm. I do believe so, he said he was supposed to be, uh, that he would uh, take care of the body disposal. So we might want to bust him out. I'm sure, um, Janice, that you can find a way to make this seem plausible. Okay. Uh, noting the... Uh, contact details of the forges in our little uh, temporary mm -hmm. hidey hole. Um, uh, I might have a look at uh, who could um, potentially uh, forge some um, sort of documents that might say uh, this is a uh, let's say, for example, uh, as technology or whoever. 
employee um, something that I could flash to the cops and the cops would go, oh, yes, oops, we, we need to let him go now. Uh, yeah, so do you want to you wanna go meet the forgers? Yeah, well, I mean, it, the one whose charge is sort of the, the most in my price range. Yeah. Which is up to a couple of grand, maybe. Well, actually, for the forgery, they've only got one contact there. So this guy apparently does a lot. So we'll see what, what they can do. Okay. Um, You meet this person. Uh, actually, they come to you. Uh, they come to the apartment space that you're in. Um, yeah. It's a, a dwarf. Uh, kind of an older looking fellow. Hi there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what can I do for you? Hi. Jeunesse. Nice to meet you. Offer to Here's shake your hand. hand. Um, look, we need... Uh, what's the old term from back before the fall? Uh, or whatever it was, the awakening? Um, a get-out-of-jail-free card for a friend. Yeah. Um, preferably something corporate. He's a bit of a cyberized merc sort of character so something with uh, corporate fingerprints on it would actually be probably more convincing than a, a hey please be nice to this guy so you want to spook him yeah yeah all okay. right um i can make i can make you either a high, what would we say, a high intensity identification. It'll have all of the security passes, all of the everything. It'll be remotely verified and everything that you are, who you say you are, and you're important and scary and all that stuff. But since mm -hmm. it's got all that stuff, the corporation who you're pretending to be a part of will identify that fake identity sooner or later. And they'll remotely toast the mm -hmm. the sin. Um, so you'll have a, a limited window in which you can use the thing. Or... That's all right. We don't need okay, it. Okay, or I can make you a safer one that's less powerful. Sure. Um, the sort of thing I'm thinking of would be... Um, for the sin concerned, uh, just a, a, a document on um, corporate letterhead with um, to whom it may concern. Uh, please provide all uh, accommodations and services to uh, the undernamed individual uh, who is uh, and extend all reasonable courtesies. Mm -hmm. Uh, as they are um, engaged in, and then several lines of redacted text, mm -hmm. um, which would require a high-level corporate, um, like not an actual corporate thing, but look like it would require a, a high-level corporate access unlock to view. All right, all right. Um... Okay, so I can send them a, a letter or well, an email ahead of your arrival, and then I'll send you with sure. the uh, sin and the identification necessary to prove that you are that person. They'll be sufficiently spooked by the time you arrive on this one. I would suggest you act mean, push them around, and, and they'll probably mm -hmm. back down. Yep, yeah, that's kind of what I had in mind. Um... The other thing is uh, name of a good tailor, if you know one. Yeah, tailor. Yeah, and he gives you an address for a tailor. Um, that'll be 300 million for the whole, because I'm kind of actually having to make two uh, fake identities for you. Sure. One for you, and then I have to at least put the verification in that the email is coming from someone legit. Um, so 300, um, and that's for 
Corp backstop. Okay, done. And happily fork over the new and uh, then uh, I'll contact the tailor looking to get a really corporate looking suit made. Yeah. All right. I'll be back in hour, so hand you off the sin. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Uh, all right. So you want to go get a tailor, tailor suit made? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it, Jeunesse is, you know, the sort of person who can buy off the rack, but she'll be looking to buy a corporate smart rather than... Um, generic right. community lawyer yeah. suit. So you know what I mean? basically it's up to you how much you want to pay for it. And the more you pay for it, the more legit yep. it looks. Okay. Um, let's say we'll go for the 700 million. All right. So level. you can actually go into Jemmer, just go clothing and clothing lets you pay whatever you want for it. So okay. you have that, and it's it looks pretty pretty real. Like, the yeah yeah. Um, and in fact, the person you're referenced to knows how to make them look good. What well, how to makes makes the the areas in which they don't look good look useful. So you're some sort of corporate somebody, and so your suit looks. You know, somewhat expensive, but there are some areas in which it doesn't look super expensive. But anyone with a good eye would look at those and go, oh, yeah, you know why it doesn't look super, super nice? Is because it's got, like, bullet... Pr it's got, like, protection and stuff. Like, some looks has been Actually. traded for utility, or at least that's what it looks like it is doing. Actually, I just realized I'm already wearing uh, action. Oh, that does it, too. That, you can just use that. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. And is there a Kinko's or something like that that I can m make a quick visit to to get a couple of business cards made up? Actually, no, I'll, I'll add that I mean, I d d Business cards aren't, aren't um, a big deal. You can just have those printed real easy. Don't don't even pay anything. Okay. Um, so the business card will be for uh, Abigail uh, Goldstein. Okay, cool. Um, corporate relations, uh, and, uh, actually it'll just be corporate relations consultant. Awesome. All right. Uh, you're given the sin, uh, and in fact, the guy will apply it for you. He'll take your wrist and, you know, turn it up your, mm -hmm. so your palms facing up on your wrist. He'll lay down this little chip yep. thing. Um, and then apply a like skin toned piece of tape over it. And then he'll like do just a little bit of makeup around it to, to, uh, get it to blend in. So you've got this, um, fake chip cause sins are supposed to be inside of you. They're, they're inject, they're a chip that's in your flesh. So it's got this thing that it's positioned yep. in the correct place. If someone looks at it, they can't see it's there. Um, so you've got a fake sin currently, but this fake sin as soon as you turn it on, we'll have, he says, maybe an hour of functionality before it dies. That's fine. Oh, good. Cool. All right. So, uh, did you guys have anything else you wanted to do before we go and uh, bust slice out? The sooner the better. Okay. So, I will head up to the police station with all of this stuff in tow. Um, 
with the uh, the sin activated and uh, the documentation that I've got on me, does that provide any additional dice? Um, yeah, it's going to go the other way. It's sort of going to be debuffs on their dice pools to figure out what's going on. Okay. Because they're going to be all scared yeah, instead cool. of thinking clearly about whether this is legit or not. Yeah, okay. Nice. All right. So, uh, Jeunesse will uh, wander in and uh, very politely, but quite firmly, say, uh, good, uh, whatever the yeah. time of day it is. Um, uh, I would like to see the uh, custody sergeant, please. Uh yeah, uh, uh, all right. Um, all right. Now, please roll con. Because <laughs> what the guy does immediately is he swipes, uh, like, he doesn't actually get anywhere near you, but he basically swipes your sin to see who you are and if he should even bother talking to you. Yep. Uh, three hits. Uh, one hit. So you get a net two. Um, mm-hmm. and he says, uh, yeah, okay, uh, give me one second. And, uh, a man comes in, he's in, uh, older, like, uh, not, not so nice uniforms. He looks like he's been on shift for a long time, maybe sitting up, running on like 12 hours now. Uh, very tired looking guy, uh, who's... Mm-hmm. sets down an empty cup of coffee and then immediately picks up an, a full one. What, what can I do sure. for you? Uh, Sergeant, you have an individual that uh, a, corporate, uh, a corporate client of mine uh, is insisting on uh, expedited um, processing on. Uh, we require his uh, services sooner rather than later a uh, chap by the name of and I'll use whatever um, alias we agreed on for Slice before he got picked up um, yeah you, you give an alias um, but it doesn't basically any alias that Slice would have given you is wrong for what they are calling him right now um, you, you ba- okay. not your fault Slice never told you his real name because he's a shadow runner. Um, yeah, sure. uh, well, I've only got one person in bloke. custody right now, and that's not who I have in custody. I currently have a Mr. Jeremy Rikers, who's uh, being held for uh, questionably obtained cyberware and weaponry uh, as well as appearing in the middle of the water uh near quite a few sensitive corporate docks yes uh look it, he was trying to uh make it onto a mission vessel uh that uh we needed to get him needed him to get onto covertly uh, I very greatly appreciate your uh, expeditious uh, facilitation of his release, and I sat down the um, the paperwork that mm-hmm. sort of says yes, this is person is representing corporation. He, yeah, X. he picks it up, looks at it. All right, well, tell you the truth. He's not being charged with anything. We don't know where he got the stuff, but none of it's actually illegal to have. So we're just looking him over. Exactly. Uh, which, yeah. he's not actually let, let lying just, <laughs> on that one. He's not. Yeah. All right. Um, so if you're not going to charge him with anything. Um, uh, what corporation are you pretending to represent? You- like, because the the forger would have made it whatever company you want it to be. So, what corporation do you want to be pretending to be? 
Uh, what's an arms Aries. corporation that's not as technical? Aries. 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 Then. All right. Well, <laughs> we, you know what? Yeah, it'll take another couple hours for for us to run all the checks that we want to run. But if he if you say he's fine, then you can have him. But you know we'll be calling you if I, if he pops up again. Sure. Yep. And uh, obviously the contact details that I would be leaving on the credit, on the business card would be completely fictitious. Mm-hmm. Uh, hand over a business card. Um, obviously, uh, I'm I'm assuming that uh, should you want to bother with running the paperwork, then you could, but uh, all you're going to do is hit corporate firewalls. So maybe it might not even be worth your your bother. And he looks at you. Plausible deniability, you know? Yeah, you know what, whatever. I'm going to go to sleep after I send him with you so yeah take him cool thank you very much and uh um just a few minutes later they bring slice out to you mm-hmm. have a good day please don't cool. I-, I hope to not have to bother you with coming down to our station in the future i very much look forward to not being bothered. Thank you very much. I hope you have a fantastic night and rest well, okay? Thanks, friend. All right. Keep up the good work. Uh, so as you walk out, I again, I assume Star and Valkyrie are a good distance away, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Janess, can you roll Judge Intentions for me? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hits. Um, Slice is looking very agitated. He's like he's, he seems to be very bothered by what has happened. Okay. Um, as I um walk him out the building, uh, I will be um uh, ushering him into a, a cab as quickly as possible and. Uh, uh, I think we need to may- maybe do about three stops in different mm-hmm. cabs in various different directions uh, before we get back to the location. All right, why don't you throw down 15 New Yen as you jump from cab to cab, paying them each you know, a little bit here and there. Um, yep. And Slice is not looking any happier when you get back to the back to the safe house. Okay. Um, once we're in the safe house, uh, I will um, ask Slice what the problem is. Uh, so you would all I mean, be there buds, then, uh, in that case. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. We're coffee buds. What's going on? screwed up um i'm not i'm not sentimental in most ways you know i just i accept how our life is and roll with it for the most part but i never i never took my sin out Uh, well, that's a correctable mistake. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, my new friend is going to be less curious about checking into the fine details of things. Maybe for long enough that we can get our little bit of work done. I just, I don't want to get rid of it. I understand. 
Can I ask why? I used to be kind of a normal person before all this. Okay. I, I wasn't even, you know, stuck on the wages. I had a, a decent life that I worked hard for and, and people I cared about. And, you know, that name, this thing in my arm is everything left. I understand. Um, if it helps, I've given up pretty much everything. Lost everything and everyone that was important to me. And I'm going to step out. I'm not a part of this conversation. Uh, yeah, he looks at you, Janessa. He's like, yeah, I, I get it. Like, I, I don't want to. And, and I'm not, I, I understand the appeal is the point. I'm not saying that I'm more badass or anything like that. I'm saying I understand. I get it. I'm good pretty good in this line of work but I'm not exactly a professional and I just I understand. you know I'll never be big leagues and I kind of don't want to yeah hey don't let perfect be the enemy of good man <laughs> well not good either but you've shown some skills Well, so boats in place. Yeah. Boats in place. Nobody saw that. I managed to get far away enough that they know I did something. But the thing is, I was yep. close to over a dozen, a dozen different docks, each with, each with a corporate secret of their own. So who knows mm -hmm. which one I was messing with. Yep. In terms of the cops, I backstopped you was uh, trying to get onto a boat rather than away yeah. from one. And uh, you, that it was a covert boarding rather than a covert infill. Yeah. So, they're not particularly curious. I said you're pretty much a high value asset that we needed to get onto a boat covertly, and they went, fair enough. Oh, uh, by the way, Janice, so your your sin that you have still has some more time, but the forger told you if you destroy it before they before they destroy it, you're less likely for them to be track for them to try and track you down. You know, asking yep. second questions. Um, as soon as as soon as I've got um, a slice out of the the hokey, that's exactly right, what cool. I'm doing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, all right. Um, okay. I guess I'll step back into the room now. So the next step <laughs> of the mission is yeah. kill a security fellow, right? Yes, unless we want to tie that with the other part, with the other piece of business that we need to do here. What's that? There's another team that wants to uh, mess with our job. So we need to make sure that they don't. Well, you got to find them first, right? They're, they're runners? Yeah, for the most part. Uh, Blinky should be giving me details soon. Right. Well, I guess we got to... Uh, take it one step at a time. Do we know where the uh, where the uh, first target's at? Yeah, we have uh, where he lives. All right. Do we know his tendencies outside of that? Um, let me look. Not 
really. Uh, Blinky sent a file, though, so I'd hand that okay. out. So, uh, similarly, this is a document that you can ask questions to. Okay. Does it have, like, a known hangout place? Like, is there a bar he frequents? Uh, yeah, there is a cop bar that he goes to every once in a while. Not frequently, but he goes to every once in a while. Um, and there is a firing range that he seems to frequent. Other than that, he seems to find his uh, recreation through one means or another in his uh, apartment. And he, he lives alone, alone in a um, semi, like, fancy house. Uh, uh, but he's he's renting the place. Okay, my thought is it's hard to just because he's alone doesn't make it easy to get into his house and make it clean. But if you're invited back to his place after a night of drinking, he might be able to take him out without any problems. Most likely. Do you think you can do that, Star? Yeah, I think you can do that. Okay. All right. Actually, this is this will probably be the first time watching you actually do what you what you're supposed to be doing. So. Um. Okay. So. I'm I think the way we want to do this is have Valkyrie watch for him, watch the house. And wait for him to leave. Uh huh. Yes. And then Star will be deployed once you know where he's at. I will be stationed somewhere that um, it's hard okay. to see, but I can see. Roll everything. perception for me, please. Okay. Bye, Five bits. hits. Hmm. I got okay um yeah so you watch him you see that he spends a lot of time he's got some very immersive uh VR entertainment that he seems to spend a lot of time with he occasionally invites friends or other people to his house but they only stay for you know dinner or lunch or whatever um mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, just kind of basically every way you could entertain yourself without leaving your house seems to be what he does for the most part. Uh, but mm -hmm. you can see he doesn't seem to want to live in his house as much as he does or spend as much time as, in his house. It seems like maybe part of his job is not leaving his house very often because that would leave him vulnerable. So he, you see him every single... Because this takes a couple days to watch him before he leaves his house. And every day, every hour that he is in his house and cannot leave, he paces his live in his living room more and more. Like, faster and faster, more and more time spent doing it until he does finally leave. And heads off okay. to uh, the firing range. Uh, Valkyrie, you know he's going to the firing range because as far as you know, he only goes to the firing range yeah. or that bar and they're kind of in opposite directions. So immediately as soon as he leaves, you're like, you know where he's going and Star can be there before he will be. Okay. should probably impress him with your gun skills if you have any. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> that that might be a different plan that I've got here, because <laughs> um, uh, my gun skills are only. What um, what kind of shooting range is? Is this like a public shooting range? Then he, anyone can go there, but you know you have to pay money, uh, and rent like a, what are they called? A tunnel? It, like they're these like tunnel things. It's an indoor range. Right. Right. Um. Is it the type of place that somebody who doesn't know what they're doing might go to try to learn? Yeah, there's no like discrimination okay. as far as skill. Yeah, you can you can go there for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I will go to the shooting range then and rent a 
tunnel and actually can I wait to rent one until I see where yeah, he goes? Yeah, absolutely. Uh you can take one. He sets himself up like a distance away from everyone else, uh takes one of the empty ones, and so there's no one anywhere else near him. And he immediately um picks up a pistol and unloads it uh unloads the entire clip in it like or magazine in it like before you can even walk over to your uh range that you've picked out right next to him um and you see the target it is good distance away and the grouping is very very tight he is a good shot um oh um before mm-hmm. i forget before we did this can i have gotten just a empty syringe yeah okay uh and then i yeah i will approach the i will you know rendicate and then i will purposely take the one next to him despite that mm-hmm. he you know was and um will purposely miss badly and then try to make it so the gun jams and you know try to get him to come help me for uh, you all right. know because you're just so oh, gosh darn annoying uh, <laughs> yeah, roll me your like pistols like you're as if you were trying to take a good shot okay so base basically you're playing the hapless female mm-hmm Oh, that's uh, agility. Please, sir, can you come and mansplain how to do this? Oh, God, <laughs> this is perfect. I critically get it. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> My bad dice rolls once <laughs> for one's coming. Um, every time. Yes, but <laughs> if you're aiming off the target... You certainly hit a bullseye. <laughs> uh, oh, no. you actually, can, can you roll me just your edge? Yeah. Just see how this goes. <laughs> I rolled a one. You one hit, or <laughs> no, oh, so you basically one. critically like glitched a, on one. on edge. Okay, on wonderful. One dice, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Teddy, how bad is this? How how bad um, do you think this is? Because there's several uh, ways this could go, and depending on like just the flavor. Yeah, like how bad do you think this is? Is this like like comedy movie of like? You know, when a person like leans against something and knocks over an entire aisle of groceries or something, or like, <laughs> how bad is this? You know, I, I think that's about as bad as it is. Like, if she <laughs> if she hits the target at all, because she's like she's trying not to, and then okay. does somehow hit the target, it'd be like a really big spread. You know, like there'd be a bullseye, and then. So what you try to do is you try to fire rapidly like he did. You fire the first shot, and it's not actually that bad. Then the second shot, and that one, you you don't adjust for the kick. (laughs) And so the last shot you fire ricochets off the ceiling and hits your mark. (laughs) The bullet comes down into his shoulder. And he all oh of a sudden gosh, drops to the ground, like on his, like not dead, but like drops to his knees, like in a like cautious position, uh, holding it with with one arm and swings his pistol around to like try and see who shot at him. Um, but he can't tell it was you. He sees you falling <laughs> over from the recoil of the gun and assumes, well, that person just <laughs> fell over because of you know shot was fired at her too. Um, <laughs> It's just, <laughs> this is too perfect and he so he stands up and begins to like back away to the towards like the exit is just like swinging the gun around like who the 
heck did that? <laughs> um, and unless Star or anyone else does anything, he's going to leave the building uh, bleeding quite poor, quite badly. Um, and yeah, he's he's going home. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I don't want. I don't want him to think I did it on purpose. I think I'll let him leave. Okay. Because I don't want to compromise it. We might just have to end up with a different <laughs> plan. Because that did not go well. Can't but... you just like apologize? I could. Yeah, and you know what? Let's try to buy that. Him Let's... A drink? Several drinks? Yeah, you know what? Let's try that. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> this is what you're good at. <laughs> well, yeah, did you just see my <laughs> dice roll? <laughs> yeah, well, they they were at the start. You'll get better ones now, right? We can only hope. Let's go for it. I will just, like, as he's backing up, I will just be like, Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I have no idea what I'm doing. No kidding! <laughs> <laughs> I got. I can't. I, I'm about to. <sighs> like, like, just you know. Like, let me buy you a drink to, to or several to make. Yeah, it I'm. Up to I'm you. not drinking. I'm bleeding. I got it. I can't go to the hospital right now. You, Wait, you know what? You know what? I know somebody. I know somebody. On me, they'll patch you up. Yeah. All right, but you got to bring them to my house. I'm not going anywhere with you. you find your friend okay. and yeah. uh, here. And he sends you an address to go to, which you know is his house. Um, bring your friend there. I got to. I can't go to a hospital right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, and he rushes over to his car and gets off and, and drives back to his house. Oh, this is working out beautifully. Well, the good news is we're in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too easy. That's what I'm scared about. <laughs> All right. So, um. Wait. We're so, sending Slice in as the surgeon? <laughs> that's what I was going to ask. Are we sending Slice in to help me put this? I mean, because, yeah, I think it should be Slice because everybody else is either is better from a distance or at talking. Yeah. All right. Um, we should figure out if Slice knows, <laughs> if Slice feels like he can do this. What do you mean? Can I patch the guy up? Can I shoot him? Like, I well, I mean, all we need you to do is, can you fake? Actually, if Jeunesse can fake it, we can stab him with an empty syringe, which will do the job. And well, it'll yeah, that takes a bit. Less mess. It does. And also might not actually kill him. Like, people survive that. Um, okay, but no, I can, I can do it. I know, like, basic medical stuff. Like, I know how to, yeah. I was really hoping to just do that in, like, get him to drink enough to pass out. And just... Look, it, I, I can, I can go um, with you. And if things go wrong, I might be able to just take him. I'd like, you know, like, if Janess goes and something goes wrong, you're toast. You're both that's, just gonna die. That's possibly... <laughs> but um, do you want to suggest? And... Sorry, go ahead. What's that? Can I suggest you dope him up before you actually? Well, yeah, if I can, yeah. So that takes some some man uh, uh, and yeah, 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 and then or. We can and just then once that. he's once he's off in sleepy land, it's all pretty easy from there, right? Yeah, that's the hope. 
the hole. All right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, do you want to have a backup? He doesn't have... Sorry, go ahead. That assumes, of course, he doesn't have um, cyberware that will filter those sort of things. Yeah, oh. we'll see. You know, I, but... all else goes wrong, I have a gun in my arm. Mm -hmm. let's go let's go do you want to try to not try but do you want to have any sort of other toxin on you guys to maybe try sure <clears throat> can't hurt have another tool can't, yeah, and can't actually hurt. Jeunesse maybe if you want to be like on the call with me and maybe talk me through this whole lying thing sure uh also you could probably also use drugs instead of anesthetic yeah yeah we can just drug him up real good yeah and... all right let's so yeah uh i've got stuff for that <laughs> let's okay let's let's go all okay, right. let's go. Yeah. I will watch. Just, just make sure if you're gonna jack him up on drugs that the downers not uppers, right? Yeah, uh, I know my drugs. <laughs> he yeah. knows his drugs. Yeah. <laughs> we trust slice. <laughs> All right. In in slice we trust. Yes. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, he drives you to that place because you already know where this guy's house is at. Um, and pull up. All right. Uh, I guess you lead the talking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> um, Jeunesse will be using the drone to surveil from okay. um, a remote distance. Okay. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'll approach the door and knock, I guess. The door, like, has a black little, like, lock device on it that's currently red, and it just turns green. Uh, cautiously open yeah. the door? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you learn. And as you enter, you find it's a pretty large apartment. It's very nice. Uh, you see the guy is currently, uh, he's taking his shirt off and is, is uh, seems to have cleaned it at least. He seems to know what he's doing as far as that and is over in the kitchen. Um, and he's, he's waiting for you and he, as soon as you enter the room, he pulls out a gun and shoots at Star uh, in the leg. Specifically, very purposely aiming for the leg. Uh, roll me your reaction, please. It's all right. We can still do this. Okay. He, he rolled pretty good. I'm going to spend my edge <laughs> <laughs> to uh, re-roll all those misses okay no oh, come on i went from clinical glitch to critical oh. glitch and you rolled misses yeah re-roll all the misses mm -hmm. yep and still oh no mm -hmm. how <laughs> i rolled a four how? and one the first time and a three and a one the second oh. time well, this is how Star dies. So, well, he's very, <laughs> he's very specifically leg. not trying to kill you, although it does seem to do more damage than he was hoping it for it to do. Take <laughs> yeah, take um... six physical damage. Ow. Uh, as he shoots you in the leg <clears throat> and then like moves forward and is aiming the gun now at your head. All right, now your doctor friend is going to help me. Yep. <laughs> that wasn't necessary. That's what he's here to do. <clears throat> um, star roll judge intentions. <laughs> I might actually be good at that. 
Wow. Which is a relative thing to say, basically. <laughs> Well, it's not a critical glitch. <laughs> okay. A glitch. Okay. Uh, he is he, he. You know, his plan is to kill both of you as soon as he thinks that he's patched up as much as he needs to be. Like he, yes. his plan is to kill and hide both of your bodies. Um. Our plan is that he's dressed yeah. up enough so he oh, yeah, can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> So, uh, Slice is just like, um, uh, uh, and Janice, you hear this on the other side of the line, on the other, like, him, he's just, uh, uh. Look, you need, uh, I will be you need saying, to patch him up before he kills us both. I'll be saying, roll with it. Stay calm. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's, let me... Let me fix this then. Um, let me. I'm gonna have to take the bandage off, and peels it back and starts to clean up further. He's, uh, yeah, the bullet is gone, but you've got bits of shrapnel down in there. I'm gonna have to. And he uh, pulls out a syringe, which, unsurprisingly, the criminal says no. Just. Do it. <laughs> I say to Slice, this would be a good point to maneuver behind him and take your shot. So uh, Slice begins to work on that. He he pulls out these tiny little like pliers and begins to try and pull a piece of shrapnel out of the guy's shoulder. And as he's pulling on it. You just see out of Slice's right arm a gun pop out and spray uh, continuous bullets into the back of this guy's head. <laughs> Does he die? It's messy, but yeah, uh, messy is an understatement. Um, <laughs> Star and that entire wall are all a new color. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Uh and he just like shoves the guy over the guy falls to the ground. Okay, are you okay? Uh I I think I'll live, but I'm gonna need uh, a med kit. I didn't actually bring one. Uh, I, can can we retcon that I would have given him okay. one of mine? I actually have yes, two. He will take that out. Because I wouldn't have sent him in the <laughs> heal the guy without okay. medkit. And he will uh, roll that up. Uh, what rating is oh the medkit? It's uh, an excellent question. That's yep. straight gear. Actually, no. It was, um, uh, I believe it was rating five. This is the one that I picked right. up from the. All right. Whatever. I think, actually, was that rating eight? Uh, they can only go up to six, I believe. But, um, I got it. So he rolls. Oh, uh, pretty good. All right. So, uh, nerdy star can transfer four points of physical damage over into stun. Um, and you are feeling a lot better. Um, you know you're not actively bleeding out in any way. Um, yeah, you're feeling a lot better. Okay, I got you. Um. Janess, Valkyrie, uh, he's dead. What now? All right. Well, um, so they prop close the curtains for starters. The right, close the curtains. Yeah, and he goes and like closes the curtains and the windows and makes sure everything's closed up. Um, so we need his ID, uh, and he starts searching for him. Uh, is 
Ah, crap. We need to... S Is there blood on the window? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe rinse that down before you close the window. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll do that here, Star. Why don't you search this guy? I'll close the gate. And so he starts trying to clean up. Um, yeah, be I'll, aware I'll do that. Mm -hmm. that um, the security of the building probably went off, so you guys need to play victims. I think I can do that. <laughs> I have a hole in my leg. Yeah, with the help of Star, you guys can play victims. So Star, you find um, you find his ID badge. Uh, but this is basically just a picture. Like, it doesn't really do anything. Um, you find his gun, um, which you can have if you want. Um, and his comm link, but it's pretty lot. His comm link's pretty locked down. Um, Star, you know that everyone's true ID, or at least, you know, people who aren't Shadowrunners, uh, their ID is their sin. Um, which is an implant. Uh, it's probably going to be, depending on who he is, what kind of person he is, it's either going to be his arm or in his head. Well, his head's all over the place, so... Uh, or it could be in his torso as well, like near his heart. I'll um, check his arms first. How do you, how do you check the arms? Uh, I might... Actually, you know, I thought I was. I th oh no, I didn't take it. I thought I had a scanner, but uh. I didn't take one. So maybe, maybe I don't. Then. Um, you can take a knife from his kitchen and. Uh, or the combat knife that he has and see if he has it in either of his arms. I don't think I would Yeah, do that. it's not shocking. That's uh, fairly um, reasonable. I don't want to make more of a mess. Uh... Look, what... Well, it, it, he probably maybe maybe he turned his security off or something, you know, cuz he was about to kill two people. So maybe maybe we can just grab his body and leave and we'll figure that out later. Um Yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh why don't you go start the car and I will pick him up just like put the put the trunk towards the front door and I'll load him in real fast. So no one sees. Okay. Yeah, let's um yeah, okay. let's do that. Common sense kicking in. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Don't you have that? Star too, does Star? have that too. Yes. Yes, I do. It, you know, this has inherent risks, but you know it. We also are slim on options. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This seems to be working out, so let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> let's just get out before. We spend too much so time he throws here. the body in the trunk, slams it closed, and then rushes over and takes the passenger seat. All right, go, go, go. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's <laughs> a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, I'll drive off. <laughs> I will try not to be driving suspiciously. Okay. Uh, why don't you roll me... Etiquette. Okay. To sort of just try and look like all the other vehicles in the way that you're driving and all that. Just ignore all Two the hits. Words. Yeah. Woo! Woo! That's impressive. Good job. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything like... Uh, like tail avoiding or any, I don't remember what that skill's called. Um, tail tail evasion. Do you have tail evasion? Oh, tail. Yeah. Tail evasion. I it's gonna be shadowing. I do. Shadowing. Yes, I have. Yeah. I have roll tail that. Evasion. Uh, 
I, I didn't glitch, <laughs> but I didn't hit. So nothing. Kay. Okay. Uh, Valkyrie, please roll perception, because I assume you have an mm-hmm. advantage point on this whole deal, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. roll perception to see if they're being followed. Five hits. Uh, you're fairly certain that they're clear. That nothing's following them. Okay, I will let them know. Okay, let's get back to the safe house and just get this over with. Man, I wish we had scabs. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can all reconvene at the safe house. And you now have a body. I will contact the Black Mask and tell them that we have that we, we have the target <laughs> and all the stuff. Um, um, I'm going to suggest that we actually don't bring him back to the safe okay. house because if he's a corp employee, he's going to have trackers on him. Okay. They might just be able to track his sim. Mm. No, um, though. We'll if ask he's the a black corporate mask. asset, he'll be geotagged. I'm going to ask the, the black mask what they want to do. Uh, you can't have no contact with them. The contact that they told you to refer to, to get a hold of them, was your, the person who's handling your safe house. So the person okay, up so in the stuffer shack. I'll let them know. Okay, I would let them know that, um, we have the stuff. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, so yeah, let's do this actual <laughs> call. You call them. Hello? Okay. Hey, um, it's from uh, the residence out back. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have the the stuff for our friends, and uh, they should get moving. Okay. Uh, meeting point will be provided to you next time you're around. Thank you. Hangs up. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so someone has to go so back to the safe I house will... to pick up the meeting point because they're not going to say it over the phone. I'll do that. Uh, yeah. So you get a little slip up, slip of paper, um, and uh, you are sent to a another safe house that is their safe house here okay um i will give that address to star and janice cool so everyone want to meet up there then wonderful yeah all right so before we do that we're going to take a break but yeah you you y'all did pretty good star did what star (laughs) does best and yes, in her failure, she and took succeeds. a hit for the team to ensure victory again. Yes, again. <laughs> this is times. why she's leaving. <laughs> I tried really hard to think of something else for this guy to do, but this is what this guy would have done. <laughs> it's all right. It I worked. kind of expected it after I shot yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. He basically hey, because he's about to go on a job, he can't go to the hospital. He doesn't he's not supposed to be existing right now. So he can't check into a hospital. Um and he can't let his employers know he got himself hurt. So he wanted your doctor friend to come fix him up and then he was going to kill both of you and <laughs> and hide your body somewhere. Right. Um All right. Uh so yeah, we'll be back in just a little bit. Uh let me on uh do, 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 uh you really should just get a desk job you'll be safe there uh. all right <laughs> see y'all in a little bit
Hello, everybody. We are back. Hello. And, uh, so we currently have a body, I believe, that, uh, that the party ma needs to do something with. Because it's just currently just sitting there <laughs> in the trunk of Star's vehicle. Yeah, so we're gonna head to the safe mm -hmm. house that the Black Mask. Uh, indicated. this safe house is a factory-looking building, but on the outside. But as soon as you step inside, it is not that at all. Um, okay. It's a fairly compact little kind of compound that you can uh, operate out of for now. Um, the Black Mask is currently set okay. up there, and they wave you on in. Uh, in fact, there's a garage space okay. that the car can pull into, so you're indoors with the vehicle. Cool. All right. Where's the ID? Um, I would uh take the ID and and do we pick up the com link? Yeah, you have the com link. I'm thinking that'd be important. Yep. Yeah, I would take that from Star. And hand it to them and say that the body's in the trunk. Do you want this in? Yeah, we kind of need this in. Um, yeah, okay. So we're going to need to find that. <laughs> okay. So uh, they are willing to do the operation bit to go get it. What I need is for collectively the party to please roll me edge. Because there are th four places it could be. Arms, head, or torso. Okay. If you are super unlucky, it will be bad. Then it would have been place. in the head. Oh, it's got <clears throat> yeah. blown up. Okay. Uh, three hits. Very so. nice. Ooh. All One sixes. Hit? One hit from Valkyrie. Actually, no, sorry. Six and two fives. Star. Uh, Star. I'm sorry. One what edge we roll, again? please. Oh, okay. I know you're please. good at that one. That, that's. Please. I, my whole one yeah. dice. Yes, please. Well, zero hits. Okay. Okay. At least it's not a crit. Not, <laughs> not a crit glitch. <laughs> yeah, at least. That, that's what we're. Our standards <laughs> have been lowered on what's going on. <laughs> uh, you have found this little it looks like a like a pill but it's entirely clear and you see little bits of circuitry inside of it and they've got that and so with that they should be able to get one of their people on that boat and with that they claim that they can do that whole deal as long as they don't get hit by something exceedingly uh unexpected okay so, right. are we good to go? Um, um, I will also give them a copy of any photography I've taken with the drone mm -hmm. as to what the guy's face looked like before <laughs> we took got right, rid yeah. of it. <laughs> All right. Uh, that won't be... We're, we're going to be replacing his face with our face in the system, but appreciated nonetheless. Um, All right, okay. so yeah, we will be going on there. We are counting on you to pick us up and to make sure nothing comes out of left field and takes us down. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Did, um, did I inform them of nope. the second team? Okay. I will now. I'll say uh, we are, the next thing to do on our list is that there is a second team that wants to be on that mm. boat. So we're going to make sure that they are not. Okay. Competitors. But it'll be fine. Okay. You watch our back. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay. uh, we don't know what all tracking might have been on this guy and all that. So I suggest you leave your vehicle here and we're going to leave the body here. Well, actually we're going to dispose of the body and we're the safe house is dead. Um, so I suggest you all split. Got it. 
Yep. Um, thank you very much, and I will start leaving. All right. So what do the three of you want to do now? Uh, be careful on my way back to the safe house. Make sure I'm not mm-hmm. followed. Th- don't worry about all that. Well, what okay. what are you... I need to get information from Blinky about the second team. Okay. So, uh, tell me what you do know. Okay. Let me look at my notes. All right. There are four people. There's a human cyborg. Mm hmm. Uh, there's an elf sniper, and there's a human holding a grenade mm-hmm. launcher, and there's a gnome with six grenades on him. Yes. So, these guys like to go loud. Uh, alright, so the gnome is known as Gum. Uh, okay. is a pretty good infiltrator. And a very dangerous uh, street samurai. Uh, he's uh, known to be risky, kind of dangerous, deploying uh, explosives and other hazardous weaponry in close proximity. Uh, the one with the grenade launcher, there's not much info on. There's a code name of Wire. For that one. Okay. Uh, the elf sniper is known as Zephyr. And is a notable okay. um, sniper from a kind of sniper... I don't know what you call it. Like coalition or kind of expert team. Um, whose name is uh, not provided because they don't want to talk about them. Um, cause they're, they're dangerous people. No. Uh, basically, uh, a group dangerous enough that, uh, that they, they're not going to be mentioned. Um, and then the cyborg is known as cans. Uh, and cans is a, uh, a street samurai, obviously, and a, Uh, a resilient individual known for in- coming in guns blazing and despite all odds coming back out. Okay. Okay. Do we have any information about where they like to be or anything? Their normal area of operations is bouncing around uh seattle and la like west coast this is not their normal area of operation so they're probably in an in a safe house like probably us. yeah so let's ask our person if they know anything about that hello what can i do for you hey i have a question um, we're trying to find some buddies of ours, and we have a feeling they might be using safe houses similar to us. We're wondering if you could help us find them. We take the privacy of our clients very uh, personally. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's good. However, if they happen to be residing with one of our competitors we would be more than happy to provide any information that we have okay do you want me to give you a description then um not here not now provide me with the description in a digital form later I might be able to look over it okay. but not in my place of work okay. here of course. So basically, you can hand off a package I... that tells everything. Um, 
and I'll look into it. Anything else you all want to do in the meantime? Um, Jeunesse would like to do a quick uh, search through for uh, sort of underworld uh, contacts mm -hmm. that might be <clears throat> potentially be directed in the uh, to, to a location where those guys mm -hmm. happen to be. Why don't you but, roll, um, uh, if you have Underworld or Shadow Community. Uh, I do have yeah, Underworld. Yeah, why don't you roll that? Okay, um, so I handed the guy Yeah, you the did. Package. He's looking into it right now. Yeah. Um, can I try to see any updates on my old group of their whereabouts? Um... One hit from Janess. Uh, okay, Valkyrie. How do you want to get a get that information? Um, I could roll one of my knowledge skills of uh, underworld. Yeah, hits. why don't you roll that? Uh, at a plus three. Uh, Janess, you can get a confirmation that they are in New York. But unfortunately, with only one hit, that's pretty much all you get. Five hits! Jeez! Um, Valkyrie, uh, you know that they have, in recent years, kind of gone on a recruitment spree and have a much larger group and have kind of designated sort of ranks. You know, it used to just kind of be everybody, and now they've kind of subdivided a bit, and they've got kind of like initiate people who are kind of people who are promising but might not make it. Um, and then kind of mid-tiers who are who are been on for a year or two, and then the actual upper echelon where all the pros are at. So they're selling. Yeah, out. sort of. And they've they do have they try to not let them walk away, but they do have a few dropouts that don't make it but do survive. Can I tell if Zephyr is one of those? High probability. Um, just to clarify, the one hit that I got, that was actually attempting to find other gangs that we could Oh, other organizations use to get, that do the safe house business? Uh, other organizations. No, 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 no. Other organizations uh, that could run interference with, for us with these guys if we were to pitch a good story, to uh, spin a good yarn for them. Uh, so basically, you're looking for shadow runners to hire and, and other... Or you know, or if you could hire a gang to more more gangs that we could con into interfering with these yeah. guys. Um, yeah. Uh, with one hit, I don't believe you can get a hold of. I don't think you can get a, a lead on that. Uh, other than okay. determining that they don't have any leads like that either, basically. What you manage to do is kind of talk, ask people, check around, and they're not from in. They're not from New York. They don't know really anyone here, and no one knows them. So if people don't recognize them, they can't point you out to them. But also, they've got very few people here who are their friends. Okay, and remind me who the, the corp is that we're running against. Evo in Tech, this I believe. Paper. Yeah, Evo. Yeah, it's Evo. Okay. Question is, are these guys on the payroll of Evo Tech or are they freelancing? I think what Mr. P told me was that they were another shadow running group. Uh yeah, it, what mm -hmm. he said is that basically they are they're a shadow running group looking to hit the same target that you are but with more intent to disrupt and destroy than to steal. Okay. Um, does Star have any leads that she would like to look into? Or anything else, you know? Um, maybe hire a real doctor? 
<laughs> yeah, hire a real doctor and uh, probably pick up a like one of them uh, teddy bears with the like I Heart New York or whatever, some kind of like souvenir. Yes. But yes, definitely hire a new doctor. Yes. Um, there is a number here for a, a street doctor. Uh, you can go to a, to the clinic, and it will cost you. Uh, b- b- it will cost you seventy five new yen to remove each um point of damage, and you can choose how many you want to remove. Um. Or sorry, it's fifty for the stun and seventy five for the physicals, and so just uh, pay for however many you okay. want to pay for. So that's three fifty total, I think, to get rid of all of it. Then fifty for each stun. Yeah, that sounds right okay. to me. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Um, and so the oh. man at the front desk of the stuffer shack would have uh, a message for Valkyrie. Okay. Uh, and he would hand you off, you know, a little package to it's disguised as like a Snickers or something. Um, Mm -hmm. And uh, it would be a little data chip that you can uh, plug into your comm link. Um, It would say that they are, they are hiding with our competitors. We know that they are over on the Eastern side of the city. We cannot give you a specific safe house. Um, can't couldn't can't find it. You know they are safe houses. Um, and um, they are. We know they're in the eastern side of town because they are taking a lot of deliveries, uh, from several different arms dealers and other equipment specialists who are selling them different gear for some kind of heist or operation it's being routed mm-hmm. into that part of town so you might be able to track a shipment of some kind there okay all right thank you mm-hmm. all right um here's an idea Jeunesse, do you think you might be able to blow the whistle on them if we find their hideout um yeah i reckon i can probably manage something like that um an appropriately convincing yarn told to the right people Mm -hmm. like um do you think you could use your new friends that you made at the police office the other day uh i suspect i suspect they're less interested in that side of things uh as long as they're not in a corporate designated area at the time i suspect the cops won't have a real strong reason to go after them but what we what we could do is find an evotech employee tell them the truth (laughs) (laughs) yeah And tell them that we've had intel, or that we've uncovered intel. That this particular group is uh, preparing for a run thing. against their shipment. Give them and a raise. No, no, just just shop these guys to the to the corp. And I'm okay with have that. Have the corp have the corp take them out, and then we um, uh, hopefully that will then decrease the level of alertness from the uh, corp when we do our own thing. I think we should do that. Wonderful. How do you proceed on that? <laughs> I know what the faces take care well, of. Well, you also have to track down actually where they are. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
Um, so let's say they're uh, assuming that they're they've got a, a decker in their group. It would Probably. be reasonable to assume that there'd be some footprints actually Googling information around this particular job. Okay. Um, so maybe a data search mm -hmm. to see if I Why can... Why don't you roll a data search? Uh, yep. Uh, to see if I can find any footprints. Uh, three hits. Um, you find notably nothing. Uh, okay. you, you know that, like, um, you suspect that, yes, someone has looked around, but there is most certainly not a way to track back to them. Whoever was looking around covered themselves up pretty good. Okay. Well, um, our guy told us about shipments, so we should probably look into those. Uh... Yeah, the other thing is uh, looking for things like um, the same sorts of transport options that we've looked into. So seeing if they've got uh, aircraft or that sort of thing that they've hired, chartered, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Check in with the local arms dealers, maybe. Um, uh, problem is, those guys are going to be discreet. Mm -hmm. I could just look around and see if I can spot anything. Well, we probably can identify arms dealers through our contact. Um... Yeah, but then maybe another crack at a data search to see if we can find any large transactions that have been going through, or um, guys going on holidays after making big sales, that sort of thing. Um, explosives. Yeah, if if you want to, um, yeah, the the contact there, he'll he'll refer you to anyone. So, uh, Janice, you can do a data search yep. if you want to, kind of follow up on that uh star do you think that maybe you want to try and get in with just the 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 local criminal factor and and try and just do do what Janessa is doing but just by talking to them <sighs> yeah yeah holy shit five oh hits. boy okay yeah Woo. so um Janess, you're able to track down a very complete list of of criminal vendors, um, mm -hmm. and you you know that there's this one kind of acquisition and shipping company that is definitely it, but you don't know you, you okay. don't have any lead as far as where they're actually sending anything or which of the many shipments that they're doing are the ones you're looking for. Cause they do a lot of business for a lot of people other than the people you're looking for. So you're probably going to have to, maybe I would suggest send star and Janessa in there to go do some Talk actual up. chatting. Um, mm -hmm. Or something okay. like that. Do we know the name of this group? Like, do, is there an actual group name, or are they just a bunch of Ronins that happen to be? Uh, it together? appears that appears to be the case. Uh, it appears, actually, in fact, it may it appears that they're here together because of the job. They they might not even be pre existing before this job, even. Just whatever they're doing, whoever's hiring them, or whatever, went and found four really good runners smushed them all together into a group for a job. Oh. Supposedly good. One of them is a dropout. I mean, that's still pretty good. No. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> do we know anything about the people who might have contracted them? 
No, there is there is no they are like that is an area that is entirely obscured, very very well. Okay. Uh, maybe if you got into actually their stuff, you might be able to uh, figure that out. But Blinky has found no no info on that. However, Blinky would, would pay you for that info. Would we be able to? Yeah. Would we be able to ask Blinky to have a run at the um, arms dealer, the arms and shipping contractor? How so? Like to uh, in terms of a hacking attack on their system. Uh, Blinky is not a hacker, but Blinky knows hackers, so she can do that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, depending on how difficult it is, uh, the price may vary, but she can send them in to go try try their hand at it, if you would like. Mm -hmm. So let me roll some dice then. If if that's what the party wants to do, or. Don't put her in yeah. any sort All of right. danger. Uh, okay. So uh, it's going to cost you uh, 500 new yen, somebody. I don't know who, but someone's okay. going to have to pay 500 new yen to this hacker, but they have um, a live connection to the shipping because the shipping never, it does not permanently hold where they send stuff to, it tells them where they're currently taking something. Uh, and then as soon as the delivery is made, they delete okay. all info on the delivery. Okay. I can give the 500. Okay. okay. Um, and yeah, you have a, a list of current air, current addresses that are currently having a, a delivery and you have a live update on however that changes okay okay um i will note the ones that are going to the east side mm -hmm. that cuts out a big bunch of and I options like, i would like to try start investigating that by looking around and picking off buildings that are obviously not all right uh why don't you place. roll me logic plus intuition Would you like me to try uh, that? Do you have the program uh, data translation? You do. You do. You have the you have the suite. So even if you don't have it, you have a version of it. So okay. yeah, you can roll a, a computer check if you would like. Two okay. hits. Mm -hmm. Star, do you want to look at this thing trying to see what hints you can discern from it. You can do a logic plus intuition roll if you would like. Okay. One hit from Jeunesse. All One right. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a total uh, number of hits from the group. And you're pretty close. Um, can I add data search to that? Zero hits. Zero hits. No. Oh, um, okay, so you have cut it down to two candidates okay. there is a uh some kind of unused shelter like there it's it's some kind of it like used to be a bomb shelter of some kind but it's and it's currently just sitting around kind of ownership nowhere um or at least officially that's where where it is sitting uh, and then there's also a office building with s that mm, appears to be in use. And there are shipments going, like free fairly frequent shipments going to both of those places. And there's really nothing left to to tell which one is the one you're looking for. Janice, do you want to send your uh, drone to go look? <clears throat> Drone's not necessarily going to be able to see indoors. Um, do we have photos? Do we have photos of our candidates? You do. Mm -hmm. um, well, a photo. Okay. All right, and 
both of the street samurai you have mug shots and for the uh for the one referred to as wire you just have a passing like traffic cam picture and uh for <laughs> zephyr you have like a partial face picture of her aiming a scope at the person taking a picture of her yeah see amateur okay um Or sorry, not a scope. The rifle itself. So, like, mm-hmm. the person who took the picture might have died. Probably. <sighs> can I make a hacking check to see if I can get access to the CCTV? Uh, around both of those environments? Uh, the bomb shelter one has kind of nothing going on there. You could you could try and get into the primary system of the office building, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, why don't you do that? I, I'm even thinking maybe just a... No, actually, yeah, let, let's go. What is your that. exploit right. program rating? Uh, so my best exploit is rating, rating three, three. but i also have still five mm-hmm. and i assume you're running that yeah yeah um and also response five signal mm-hmm. five hardening six etc yep. so so what am i rolling yeah roll hacking. A hacking roll Okay. Uh, two hits, and I'll roll edge with that as well. All right. Um, so that's re roll uh, yep. failures. further three hits so five hits altogether um yeah you you're able to get in um and you're just looking for these people right uh okay Mm -hmm. so what you notably can find is that the top floor is there's no cameras there there's nothing there it's like there's there's no uh so this building has like automated uh like systems for the doors it's real basic it's just if there's a security lockdown, lock all the doors. If there's a fire alarm sounded, unlock all the doors and swing them open. Uh, you know, there's just a few automated door systems, temperature systems, all that for the building. Yep. And none of these things exist in the um, top floor. What about elevator uh, cameras? Are there any cameras in elevators or stairways? Um, the... The elevator has a camera inside of it, but it is, and it is physically capable of going to the top floor. But there is, like, you find a thing in there saying, like, uh, because the nowadays, uh, or, you know, in this, these days, uh, the buttons on an elevator are no longer buttons, it's a touch screen. The top floor doesn't appear mm-hmm. as an option on the, on the elevator of, of floors to go to. Okay, so they're probably using a service elevator or yeah, something, something like, like that. that. I, the stairs still do go there. You could, you can just walk up the stairs there. Um, it just is tedious, and then when you get there, you can't see if there is anything up there. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, that's about all I can think of to try, uh, um, other than maybe sending someone in to, with a telescopic sight to have a closer look. Yeah, but um, we can do a little bit of um, process of elimination. Mm-hmm. Um, the This old warehouse building thing? You mean the um, shelter? So it's shelter, a, it... yes. How much of it can 
It's a bomb shelter. It's all underground. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have to do a stakeout. Alrighty. Um, That's what I'm doing. So you can either stake one of the places out, one or the other, or you can find, there is a point in between that you could stake them both out, but you would do that you would roll all rolls having to do with that play though both of the places at a minus three because you'd be kind of at a distant middle point from each of them but you could watch both of them at the same time could uh, we also do a stakeout with the drone yeah drones less reliable than your eyes but you, yeah you can do that okay i would ask janice which one she wants to take I think it probably makes more sense to use the drone to stake out the bomb shelter. There's a lot less to watch there. Because uh, yeah. I can... Okay. I mean, it, it's probably got the one entrance that's visible, and if there are other entrances, they might be in other buildings, but they might pop up in alleyways or that mm -hmm. sort of thing in the area. All right, so Jeunesse, please roll me a perception, visual, visual perception roll, and Valkyrie, please roll me a visual perception roll. Okay, this is my yeah yeah because you're drones, it's so. watching you're looking because it it doesn't have super good um like visual recognition recognition for individuals uh, especially if they're disguised four hits from Valkyrie and one hit from Janess uh yeah Valkyrie you you managed to spot one of them you you spot the gnome uh for just a moment okay. he appears to be on the uh, second floor stealing coffee. Um, okay. before he heads back up uh, and disappears somewhere out of line of sight from the windows. Um, cool. But right. yeah, you spotted him. That's the building, then. Okay. I will head um, back to the safe house. Let them know. All right. And... I will them out. <laughs> Jeunesse will um, find a public terminal somewhere, maybe a library or something like that, where she can find a, an area that's not actively surveilled, mm -hmm. like no cameras on it, and uh, make a quick post on the corporate bulletin board on their feedback page. To Evo. Evo Tech, yeah. Um, so that'll be using the Stealth 5 uh, on my comm link to interface with the computer at the library. Actually, no, I won't even bother doing that. It, it's just a post from a public computer, so it should be fine. Um, however, I would like to maybe use etiquette for understanding the uh, appropriate... Um, yeah. yeah, roll that. ...terminology to use... Uh, in making that sort of post in a subtle mm -hmm. way that will still get attention. Yeah, why don't you roll that? Uh, that's, that's four cool. hits. Uh, you get a message back, a private message back uh, from a person that claims to mm -hmm. be um, Adrian, uh, who wants to follow up on that, you know. Claims um, to be a representative. Uh, of I will simply... I, I will simply, I, I won't actually respond to that. What I would have been posting in the first place would have been uh, something along the lines of uh, uh, sports team, uh, uh, heads up, there's a visiting sports team uh, uh, looking to do some yachting. Um, uh so, uh, as far as we can tell, their location is X, mm -hmm. um, uh, or I'll, I'll give them a list of the other companies that are in the tower mm -hmm. um, and drop a hint about the top floor, perhaps. Um, and the boat, this probably. person would message you back, uh, message you again saying, uh, need to meet you to, or else I can't move on this. Uh, 
proxy drone. No, um, I'm simply going to say your choice. Um, uh, they're on the starting block. They would, and yeah, they they would send you a message, be like, and then "Hey, I'll this walk. does this like public no, no, no. ramen space sound like a good place to meet?" I'm, I'm, I'm walking away okay. from the computer after that last yep. reply. So, um, if they choose not to follow it up, then that's that's on them. Um, they they can always go have a look mm -hmm. themselves if they if they can't be bothered. Then that's yeah. on them. Uh, yeah, they seem to be. I mean, you know, it's it's hard to tell what they're doing because they're, they're trying. They try to get a hold of you. Uh, if they can't, then they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Um. Mm -hmm. What do you all want, all want to do then? I want to see if they will actually take action. Mm -hmm. So I need to find a safe place to take out and see if anything okay. happens. Um, why don't you roll perception then? Five hits. Uh, you spot someone kind of conspicuous show up look mm -hmm. around outside the building take like a couple pictures um and then walk away that's pretty much all you see okay. you, you know there's other than just common regular people moving around um the ship is supposed to leave in two days now or you know it's it's coming up close and uh yeah nothing, nothing seems happens. to be happening Ness, do you want to be more specific about what the situation is? Mm. The fact that this actually is an issue they need to be worried about? thing is i don't want to be black bag yeah no you don't you know drag, dragged off into a corporate mm -hmm. environment for interrogation which is basically the logical conclusion as to what the pr drones offering there um you know what i'm a consultant mm-hmm Do you want to do that? It's not a good idea. We can find another solution. Um, if you have other suggestions, hit well, me with them. Well, we have where they are, so we can hire someone else to do it. Look, all right, how about we put together a dossier of what we know for, about these guys? Okay. Pretty simple. We give a location of a geocache okay. on, the, on the website. Okay. And we say, re previous discussion, again, public library sort of thing, re previous discussion, um, see a geocache at encrypted mm -hmm. blah blah um and we'll set up the geocache before we do that so they can then go and pick up the information mm -hmm. who is they evo, yeah. evo Tech. oh yeah. okay so if that's the case then i would have also added um what their target is and what they seem to intend to Yeah, you to can do. make that a part of the dossier yep. that they'll pick up. They have that info yep. now. Um, I'll just fast forward that. You pull that off seamlessly. 
Um, do you provide a... Actually, no. If you would like, the safe house can provide a secure communication. A untraceable communication that you... They, they've got a landline there at the safe house that routes throughout the entire world several times. Um, so it's they can't trace you mm -hmm. to where you are. So if you want to actually have a phone call or have a uh, a way that they can contact you, you can set, you can provide that in the dossier package. I, I'm not That's comfortable fine. with that. That's fine. Uh, yeah. The uh, they would take that. Um. I mean, if I sign it, it'll be something like yeah, you're very yeah. godmother. Uh, uh, Janice, what what um knowledge skills do you have? Knowledge skills? I have oh so many knowledge skills. I have no idea what knowledge skills I have. Um, looking <laughs> skills. It's gonna be down Skills. at the bottom. Where you had uh, underworld and all that, like that stuff. Oh yeah, I yeah. knowledge skills. Uh, underworld. Oh, that's it? okay. Uh, okay. Do any of you have anything um, tying to I corporate? Might... I might. Have? Um, I have combat tactics. I have security companies. Um. Child community organizations. Uh, roll uh, security companies. Okay. Star, do you think you have anything like that? Anything corporate focused? Um, my uh, specialty is in yeah. Lone Star. No. I have security tactics, rapid response. No. All right. And I, I do have some underworld, but that's... Okay, uh, then Valkyrie, you get two hits. You check, like are able to check in with the forces that you know Evotech would get in contact with if they were going to do an operation. And they're, mm -hmm. they've put out no calls. They've put out no feelers. They're... Like, they're doing nothing. And that is very... That doesn't make sense. They like you've given them no, more than enough info to verify that something's happening, and they're not doing anything. So, let's find someone that doesn't like them, and let them know. Is there a gang that doesn't like outsiders? Not. That you know of, not strong enough, not not dislike strong enough to attack them. I don't think. What we need is one really good mage, <laughs> and then we'll be good. <laughs> Can we find that? Might be able to put us in touch with them. I mean, we, I could look for hitmen, um, hits hitmen. It's my thing, so I could probably find a, a mage um, slayer. Okay. Um, mages are expensive. They are. They're very expensive. If you're willing to do it, you can be put in contact with one. Why don't you roll your underworld knowledge hits? Valkyrie. Okay. Four hits. Okay. You know of one. You can get a, a hold of one anyway. They say that they can take care of them. For how much? Uh, 15. Like 1,500? No. <laughs> oh, 15 million. Great. <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah. Um... Personally, I feel like that's our best option, but I can't do that. I can't. I can. I'll cover it. You sure? Fifteen hundred, right? Nope. I heard that correctly. Fifteen grand. No. Oh, it's 15, oh, no. oh, wait, never mind. 
Never mind. I yeah, missed it. No. Yeah, no, I can't cover that. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> well. I can suggest to you a bad idea if you would like. Okay. I I really don't suggest doing it. Yeah, no, we probably but won't. But you... <laughs> as long as none of you ever plan on coming back to the city, you could borrow money in New York. <laughs> as long as you don't want to ever come back to the city ever again in your entire life. I mean, that's my plan anyway, <laughs> but I don't feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure making enemies, even in a city we don't plan to come back to, is a good idea. I mean, I would be okay with it if I was a face, but I'm not. All right. <laughs> yeah. Janice um, actually kind of likes her rep <laughs> as it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, we could try the, um... The Coast Guard that you talked to before. Or Perhaps. I could try to spook the sniper. And if one of them leaves, the rest of the party might fall apart. That doesn't sound any more of a good idea than borrowing money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It seems we don't have good choices mm -mm. here. But borrowing um, money seems to be our safest choice. Possibly. Oh, actually, one last thing that, Valkyrie, you would know from your other searching about your about that group. Since she's uh -huh. a dropout, she's worth 8k. Okay. Uh, you are also worth uh, a similar amount. Uh, quite a bit more than that. <laughs> so it would be very difficult to I turn in the so. bounty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but anyway, well, Star was saying they wanted to leave New Atlantis anyway. And that doesn't mean I want to be making enemies when I'm trying to leave. No, no, no. I meant we could cash you in for a bounty. Oh, no. That's, <laughs> no, that's not happening either. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Besides, I don't, um, Valkyrie believes stars are worth anything, but you. No. Um, you, I hope you're not. Valkyrie. Because he... You don't deserve uh, it. Valkyrie. Yeah. But. Just because it is extremely interesting narratively, I think, you can get a hold of yeah. Zephyr if you want to try and talk to her and spook her. Oh, boy. You can find a public oh. meeting space where, you know, most likely neither are going to get black bagged or shot mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. And you could you could talk to her. My concern is that she'll bring the rest of her party. Potentially. But, I mean, it'll be a public space but where they can't again, compromise themselves. Yeah. Why are you thinking about that? What would be Evo's interest in not protecting their shipment? Someone's thinking... Someone's thinking smart. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, no. I've been thinking this for the last 10 minutes. I'm thinking um, it might be because the Black Mask maybe did something ahead of time. Or the other runners are going to be set up as a PR stunt to blame another corp. Or 
they're there to flush out other uh, runners. Jeunesse, because you're on the right track, you can roll a logic plus intuition roll. Mm -hmm. One hit. Okay. This is the oldest scheme of its kind. It's a scheme that's been done many, many times and will be done many, many times mm -hmm. later. It's a thing that happens in the real world a lot. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, it caused a lot of people to die as soon as it existed. That's all I'm going to say, because you only got one hit. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad at riddles. It's really simple, too. It's not, it's not a crazy complicated yeah. scheme. It's a, it's a thing that. And that's why I hate it, because I don't think like this. Think yeah. fires. Insurance scam? Yeah. So... Ah! <laughs> okay. Yep, sure. <laughs> what? Um, I was it's, thinking, it's an insurance scam. I was thinking more... They're going to blow up their own yeah, boat okay. and get paid for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we got to let the Black Mass know. Yeah, because... Don't step on that because boat. Because Evotech hired them <gasps> to blow up. The who, ins who insures Evotech? Uh, Evotech is insured by a very, very large subsidiary of uh, Seder Corp. Now they Same might approach. want to know. <laughs> yep. Same approach. Dead drop. Okay. You get drop a response package. about 40 seconds later that says, mm -hmm. on it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> about, wait, what? <laughs> what happened? So the same approach we used from Evotech to get them the information. We're now giving that to their insurers. Oh, okay. So they know what they're trying to do. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. I like about it. About <laughs> two hours later, uh, that office building uh is on fire. <laughs> hey, I love it. Clear. That's great. Yep. Uh, preemptive loss yes. adjustment. Yes. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I love it. And what's shocking is a a how realistic the situation is. <laughs> yeah. Aggressive, <laughs> aggressive risk management. Insurance agents who are like supposed to like go hunt down lost property or destroyed things, they are crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the things they do are like yeah. super spies. Like, yeah. Yeah, insurance companies here um, who are involved in um, uh, work cover, they, they will actually, like workers' compensation stuff, they will actually send PIs out to film people doing gardening and that sort of thing so they can say, no, 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 your back's fine. You're doing yep. the gardening. Yep, yep. It's, <clears throat> it's crazy. You, believe you, how many people, you, you wouldn't believe how many people those guys catch who get home and take off all their little mm -hmm. casts yeah. and slings and stuff and start loading the car with vacation gear. Yeah. Um it, it's uh it's actually what the main character in the leverage show uh did. Um anyway. Yeah and the, and rival, the rival character as well. A big yep. Time. yep yep. Um mm -hmm. so yeah you've dealt with that issue. <laughs> oh good <laughs> Alright, so now we just go home. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Pretty much. We go home and pick them yeah. up. And that's where we're gonna wrap up this session. Uh we will we will deal with the fallout and all the follow up stuff next session. 
you all did great. Wow. <laughs> that was way That's easier it. than I thought it was going to be. Oh, you just I'm so had to glad. figure out what, what was going on. And at the last minute, Star is like, yeah. oh, <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> yep. yep. You've probably done this in your career. <laughs> Oh, in insurance scam, definitely. When you're a thief, yes. that's more one thing you get hired for. You get because if a three million dollar painting goes missing, somebody's got three million dollars and their painting. Yes. Or, or if it's yeah. devalued, it was insured originally as a three million dollar painting. Now it would sell for like half a million. But if it's stolen, <laughs> you get three million dollars. Um. <laughs> One one last thing, um, Jeunesse would have probably uh, left a uh, an escrow account mm -hmm. uh, with a with a line with the package. So if they decided they wanted to <laughs> leave any rewards for the tip, um, actually, you can you you not in these words, but you basically get told. We can I, we can give you some money, or you can have a favor. These people, this is a major subsidiary of uh, Sator Corp, so they're basically just Sator Corp is offering mm -hmm. you either money or a favor. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll take All right, the money. cool. Uh, you will receive three thousand new yen, Jeunesse. Awesome, thank you. Um, do you guys want to share that? It's up to you. Yeah, cool. To you. Uh, why don't we all sign out? Because this was great. Y'all did really good. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, all of you would notice how relieved Valkyrie is. Mm. It's like, and she's starting to look actually kind of happy for once. Something you don't know, you don't see very often is that she's kind of happy. Uh, all right. Uh, nerdy. <laughs> Who are you? Where can people find stuff you do and all that? Yeah, I am Nitty Teddy. You can find me on Twitter. Uh, and you can find me here. Uh, currently playing about three times a week. Uh, Mondays. Um, and we will hopefully be back on track this week. I run the Masks uh, RPG game. Uh, Aegis Shield Birth. Uh, Wednesdays. Um I'm in the Crusade of Thorns uh, Vampire Camarilla game, which the last episode is next week. I am both uh, excited to see how it ends and a little heartbroken yeah. that it's going because it's been so great. Um, after that, I'm going to run two one-shots before they start Mage on Wednesdays. Uh, the first one's going to be Monster of the Week on Wednesday, and then I'm going to attempt Promethean on the 10th. And then Thursday, I split my time between Pokemon and Shadowrun, and I think next week we have Talking Thorns instead yep. of Pokemon. Yep. Yeah. Um, I want to try and be a part of that Monster of the Week one but unfortunately it seems like it's a tiny bit too early for me before i would get to get home from work but it's all right uh i could push it back half an hour if you if it, that would work for you. uh that might happen uh it looks really cool i've never played that game before it looks super cool okay yeah i can pull, pull, push it back half an hour uh i'll, I'll check with everybody else but i, I don't see it silverstorm hey um, I'm Silverstorm. Uh, you can find me at Welcome to the Party. Um, this is the only game I'm involved in currently. That might change. Don't know yet. <laughs> um, I have a webcomic that's based in the Shadowrun universe that I'm currently in. Um, I don't know if Shogun has a link or not, and that's alright. Um, yeah. Um... That's all that I do, really, right now. Alrighty, and Gemma. Okay, uh, I'm Gemma, uh, at Blue Jay Gliding on the Twitters. 
Uh, I run a little group called A-N-T-I-P-O-D-E-Y-A-R-N-S. That's Antipode Yarns. Uh, we have a dot .com, uh, which uh, is about storytelling and using uh, RPGs as a storytelling medium. Um, we've got a few podcasts up already in a couple of different platforms, uh, a couple of different systems. And uh, I also write and produce content. Uh, I... Um, the DM for the Welcome to Cotterset campaign, which is currently on hiatus pending a better internet connection. And uh, I also have a newly released uh, role playing gaming system up on Drive Through RPG called the Tech Light System, T E C H L I T E, uh, which is a free to download system which you can use for your own storytelling milieus. Um, that's all, and thank you for tonight's session. That cool. was great. Uh, I am Shogun, Shogun107 on Twitter, and I played a bunch of games and run a bunch of games here on Welcome Party RPG. You can just look at the schedule. I am I run Mimic Knights. Uh, I run this game, and I play in the Pokemon game and the uh, Saturday Vampire the Masquerade uh, Sabat game, which is just about to end as well. Uh, last session will be literally uh, in two days. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's it. We're gonna go raid Scraticus. So goodbye, everybody. Have a good, good evening, morning, or whatever it is for you. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Thanks, so. Hope you had fun. And we're out.